Hey guys, welcome to X Figure Reviews. I'm coming at you today with the Marvel Legends Apocalypse Build a Figure series Wolverine. I was really excited when they announced this figure. Wolverine is probably my favorite comic book character, and I also grew up in the 90s. So, of course, as tacky as it is, this is my favorite uh, rendition of Wolverine. That being said, the brown suit holds a special place in my heart as well. Now, this was very much needed. The last Tiger Stripe suit we got was by Hasbro a couple years back, so I was really excited they gave us this figure on this body mold. Now, as far as accessories go, he does come with a piece of Apocalypse. He comes with the cables there. He does come with both. And then he also comes with some hands. He does come with the two hands you see on his body, of course, with the claws. He has claws because he's Wolverine. Kind of need the claws. And what I will say, too, is these are the same claws that we've seen on the previous Wolverines where they're just like pegged in to the fist. So it does create kind of a flimsiness. You can pop them out, though. So that is a cool feature, I guess. Uh, though, as cool as that feature is, it's a little unnecessary. They give us these other fists where his claws are retracted. So I don't see the need to give us those flimsy pegged claws, you know, uh, they give us these. Now it would have been cool if these were like open hands or something, then maybe I could understand it, but it's literally the same mold just without the holes for the, the, uh, claws. So I don't know. Uh, I'm happy Hasbro included them. You know, I, I just wish that the claws were a little different because as they are right now, they are a little flimsy, but I digress. We'll look at the paint apps and everything on here. So basically it is a yellow plastic and you have some black paint. So naturally the thing you want to look out for are black specs and things like that. And my figure is pretty neat. I don't really have to worry too much about it. Of course you do have the classic Hasbro serial number there. Uh, and uh, I will say I do have some slop. Not too much, but right here on the shoulder, the line's a little blurry doesn't quite add up and then back here on the shoulder blade there's a black speck that honestly you can hardly notice even with me pointing at it but it's there so you know uh what i will add too is the shoulder pads here they're shiny metallic and the boots are like glossy the undies and the gloves are kind of a matte blue and even though they're all different like kinds of blues they're the same shade does that make sense so it's really cool that uh, it just adds texture and it doesn't like change the the color or the tone of the color. It's really nice. What I will say too is the bad applications of paint usually were on the face. The nose would be black, the teeth would be skin tone, or the eyes would be blackened out. So when you're hunting for your Wolverine, look for a clean face. Okay, that's the really sloppy part that I've been seeing. Now my paint apps are pretty good. But I do have this weird plastic thing going on up here on the top. You can kind of see it. It's a little lame. Not the end of the world. But, you know, you want a perfect figure when you pick it out of the store. So when you don't get one, it kind of sucks. Now, as far as the body mold goes, it's about the same as the brown uh, suit Wolverine. Only he has new arms. These are bigger arms and you have the hair sculpted on. You can kind of see it in the light there. It's really cool. It's textured. It's nice. They'll probably do this uh and give this an, another wolverine at some point with with that uh painted let's go over articulation we have the head you can look up about this much it's a decent amount this head can look down that much it can rotate it's the 21st century and his head does just come off it's got that plastic ball peg so that classic ball peg so you know he does have butterfly joints, so that's really cool. That's how you can get a lot of cool poses with this guy. And then the shoulder pads are pegged into the ball-jointed shoulder, so that's really nice. It doesn't get in the way of the articulation, so the shoulder can move all the way around, and it can move up that much. And it does have a bicep swivel. He's got double-jointed elbows, even though he's got bigger arms, so I love that they still got the double-jointed in there. And then his wrists can go in and out and rotate, so no surprises there. The ab crunch, you can go backwards that much, not too far. You can go forward a whole lot, which is perfect because it's Wolverine. And he's got that waist swivel. Sometimes the belt can get in the way, just move it out of the way if it is. He can kick up this much. He can kick back eh, somewhat. And he can kick out to the side that much. He does have a thigh swivel. And he's got double jointed knees. He's also got a boot swivel, which this boot swivel is hidden so well. 
I love it. Then we have this uh, toe. He can point it. He can kick his heel up. He's got the ankle rocker and a peg hole at the back. So, uh, on the bottom of the suit, rather. On his back, he does not have a hole, though. So that's worth mentioning. So all in all, you can get this figure posed in a lot of different ways, a lot of fun ways. It's really cool. I love what they did with the shoulder pads. Uh, that definitely got in the way and has gotten in the way. Uh, you know, the I will say the claws still aren't my favorite thing. And the only other loose bit is the belt, but it's on so tight and snug that it doesn't get in the way of anything. So really, the only gripe I have sculpt-wise with this figure would be the claws. Still haven't found a perfect way to do those, you know. But that's that. Let's do a little bit of a size comparison. How does that sound? Let's grab... A Bucky cap mold. Here he is uh, next to Deadpool. As you can see Wolverine is shorter, as he should be. Much shorter. Uh, let's do next to a Hyperion body mold. Sabretooth, of course. There we go. You can see Sabretooth really towers over him, as it should be. So that's it for the sculpt. Really nice. Really nice sculpt. Really nice size. Um, of course, if you have the brown suit Wolverine, you kind of knew what to expect. Now, as far as accuracy goes, this guy looks straight out of the 90s decade. Really fantastic job. You have the hairy arms, you have the X on the belt, the shoulder pads, the elongated uh, mask. It's really fantastic what Hasbro has done. And I'm going to throw an image up here just so you can compare it to uh, comics from the 90s, Wolverine comic. You can see it's on point. You know, it didn't really miss anything. It's not ambiguously from that era. It just is from that era. So, well. Okay. Yeah, so really nice. Really nice figure. I love this Wolverine. On my scale, it's a 95. Uh, and it's only missing those five points because of paint applications and the claws. The claws aren't super terrible, but they're not perfect. So, it's a 95. And what that means... Go pick it up, especially if you're a Wolverine fan. If you're a fan of Marvel Legends in general, this is a must-have for you, hands down. I will be doing the entire Apocalypse Build-A-Figure Wave, so keep an eye out for that. Watch those reviews, like them, subscribe to me. Thanks for watching.